what you just said is so fascinating. You know, the first thing that occurs to me to say, Chris, is this. The last three months have been so insanely bizarre that there is this completely understandable tendency to say, you know, yeah, this, these three months are kind of sort of like the three months before there's a pandemic, but otherwise it's, it's, it's like the three or four months before. It's not. The last four months have been the most unique four months in the history of the world that I right. can ever remember, okay? And I include the 1929 depression in that, and it doesn't even come close to what we've seen in the last 120 days. At no point ever in modern history has the entire world shut down. At no point in modern history have every single economy in the world been in a recession at the same time. Never happened. 1929 was not even close. There were 100, over 100 countries that were doing really, really well during that time. What we are no, seeing today is beyond bizarre. And that's why our brain, the, the, the first pattern is that our brain refuses to adjust to living in a place where amazing stuff, good and bad, is happening every single day. So we are living in truly extraordinary times. That's the first pattern that I see. The second pattern, which has been visible for a while, and I know this is visible to you, Chris, but it's now more visible to people is this. The stock market no longer represents Main Street. It does not represent America at all. What has happened is over the last 15 years, and read about this, I urge you, you have to understand and read about this, the wealth in the stock market has become concentrated, very highly concentrated in less than 5% of people that live in America. So the vast majority of what's in the stock market, the total number of dollars are concentrated now amongst 5% of Americans, right? And there's, there's other people, yeah, you know, I've got 10,000 or 50,000. Yes, but you don't compare to the guy that has, you know, 500 million. So look at it from that perspective and say, is the vast majority of the wealth belonging to Americans? No it's belonging to a very small subset of Americans. And the biggest benefit that you can give that 5% is ever lower interest rates, is basically destruction of currency and interest rates that are going as close to zero as you can in the US, they haven't gone negative yet, but hey, we're early days, right? I'm absolutely predicting negative interest rates in the US within months, if not, if not weeks. And we, we're gonna see what happens when, when in July we take off this unemployment feed that we, we put everybody on. So the, the key is that if you are looking at the Dow Jones every day and trying to understand what is going on in your country, you're looking in the wrong place. In fact, you're looking in the worst imaginable place because what you're doing is you're looking at what's going on with the top 5% of this country, because not only do they, is the, the vast majority of the stock market belonging to those 5%, they, that 5% have twisted the system to the point where what happens in the stock market is actually based on what's good for them, not good for the rest of us. So things have gotten perverted to that point we're looking at the stock market and saying, why doesn't this match the real economy? Why doesn't this match real estate? Why doesn't this match what every, everything else is happening is no longer something that should be a question in your mind simply because the stock market has nothing to do with the real economy. And that's what we're seeing. I mean, it's absolutely bizarre. 